playing this video game, which is called the title screen of Submariner. Hey. AKA Sunless Sea. Sunless Sea. How you doing? How are you doing, Pirate? We haven't I'm been good around man. for I'm ages. Alive. We haven't. We haven't done anything. I know. Contrary to popular belief, I haven't fallen off a cliff or died or anything. Although I have pretty much finished uni. That's pretty funny. Oh, have you? Shit. Yeah. Uh, grats or something? I guess. Cheers. Lol. I don't know who wants to be at uni. <laughs> uni yeah, I know. Fucking gay cunts. Rip. <laughs> <laughs> Well, not me anymore, because I'm done. <laughs> oh, oh, hey. um, oh. I'm going to actually create a new game, because I did start a game, which I didn't get very far in. But what before okay. we start this game, what I'm going to do is I'm going to really quickly just um, change the, the, the settings. Uh, 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 damn it. And also share screens is a really good idea. No, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> Okay. Um, I'm right, going I'm just, to. I'm just gonna talk shit for two hours. Yeah, you can do that. Um, where is it? Shit. Shit. Um, shit. App, app data. Shit. App data local. What's it called? What is it called? Sunless Sea. Yeah. Oh, you're just gonna like copy a save somewhere else and be a cheater and then use yeah, a new one. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, that's what I would do. Because although I'm probably not gonna continue playing this piece of shit game, I might. <laughs> okay then. Okay, I actually can't find it. Do you know where the save is? Uh, I can find it. Hang What's on. the game company that makes it? Uh, so it's in local low, I believe, and it is fail better games. Fail better games. There it is, Sunless Sea. Awesome. And the saves folder can just get copied to the desktop. Cool. Cool, and now that that's been saved, um, new game. Sweet. Share the fucking screen, you might roll. Oh, just relax, Jesus. No, I won't relax. Until I can see you failing at this game. Here we go. Failing better. <laughs> <laughs> what even? I don't actually have the chat up, so screw you guys that are in the chat. I've got chat, it's all good. Wonderful. There are, there, are, there are lurkers. Uh, nobody has said anything yet. Like, it says five for me. That can't be right. Captain's making. Hey, hey. So this is the start of the game. Oh, shit. Three decades ago, in the reign of Victoria, London was stolen by bats. It now lies a mile below the surface. It was dreadfully inconvenient for everyone, but it opened a vast black ocean to you. Welcome to the undersea. Choose a past. Decide who you were and what you want to be. Okay, let's do that. Ugly ugly. You now lodge in a room above the blind helmsman. Wonderful. Crisp. Now you're a captain. Now you belong to the undersea. But who were you before? What were we before? Before? What were we? We were a street urchin, we were a poet, a veteran of the campaign of 68, an ordained priest. <laughs> Or a natural philosopher. I'm going to go with ordained priest. <laughs> okay then. Uh, 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 what do you I, think? I would never do. Yeah, go for your life. Uh, you fell from grace. There's nothing left to show for you. An anonymous benefactor has found this way out for you. Perhaps at Z, you can overcome your appetites. Well, we're definitely not going to heaven, so we might as well go to Z. Nope. Yeah? Yep. Bonus to hearts. Priest of Satanism. Let's fucking go. Skill of healing and morale. Wonderful. We can heal everyone. Crisp. <clears throat> you, kn you know an engineer who doesn't have much time left. She'd like to die at sea. <laughs> Ooh. Whoa. Look at that one. Big old eyes. Probably a devil. Yeah, I reckon, eh? Um, 10 echo. We've got 60 echoes. We've got hearts. 50, 50 hearts. Jeez, like any hearts challenge will like win now. We have a gall eyed engineer. Someone is looking for passage. Yay! Uh, we need to talk to her to find out how to where she wants to do. Okay, cool. Choose an ambition. What does winning mean to you? <coughs> um, immortality. We're not going to get to heaven. Uh, immortality is a new one, I think. I've not seen that one before. Mm. 
um, fulfillment and wealth and father's bones are all in the base game. A private kingdom, okay. Um, I know the specifics of that, but yeah, I can see why it is locked for the time being, because that's a pretty long quest line. Ah. Either way, I'm looking at it, this immortality. I mean, you know, he's an ordained priest, was a priest, ain't getting into heaven, went to sea, yeah, wants to find immortality. Let's go for immortality. That sounds interesting. That's the new one. Eternal life sounds like something you'd enjoy. And it's said that the presbyter, the ruler of the elder continent, has lived forever. The pres the the pres the those guards it's secretly the that's yes guards it's secret secrets fiercely, but amidst the clamour and beer stains of the blind heldsman, a salt scarred navigator is telling tales of the continent's deepest interior, of a city called Nida, and the origin of Presbyter's long life. Where is he getting his information? Bring wine. He is susceptible to wine. You'll find a navigator in your first clue in London. Ooh. Fair. Huh? It's funny, up until now I'd always read that as the Presbyteriot, but there's actually no second E, so it's, I guess it's just Presbyteriot. <laughs> Fair enough. There you go. Get on your pirate. Uh, last grab of capable. Okay, who's, who's this calling? So, are we a madam? Are we a sir? A citizen? My lord? There may be more. My lady and captain. Well, you're a chick, so my lady. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because um, between us we have two X chromosomes, so it must be my lady. <laughs> <laughs> That's glorious. Um, I, I, I think I don't my give a lord. Shit, dude. My lord, go for it. My lord. Yeah, I also picked my lord. Perhaps you really do come from a noble family. Who's to know? Pleasure to welcome you on board, my lord. Last piece of advice, explore, take chances. Okay, cool, an occurrence. Dressed as Crowley is now my lord. Okay, wonderful. So, who are we? Actually, well, ma maybe I'll read the green text and you can read the regular text. Cool, cool, let's do that. That sounds um, like a good idea. Uh, 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 lordly? Is that lordly? Drinking Jesus' blood or something? Yeah. <laughs> With a giant fucking moustache? I like that one. <laughs> uh, what's, what's our name? Our name. Ooh, I hadn't Do we have of enough that. people in the chat to decide on a name for us? Uh, we have a Lord's Fall. So, well, what's the name, dude? On the name for us? Let's see. <clears throat> hey, look, I'm totally a rabbi. <laughs> that may cause a bit of turbulence. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> Oh shit. Um, okay, we got nothing from chat? Nip. Uh, so we're Lord... Uh... Uh... Lord... Cum Squat. <laughs> it's Lord Only Apern, is apparently the name of this player. Lord, what? I'm going to have to read that. How, do, spell it out to me. O-N-L-Y-A-P-E-R-N mm -hmm. -E Only a pern. I like yep. it. I like Let's it. Let's go. Props of being in chat, right? Falls. You get to pick things. London. Deep, dark, and marvellous. All voyages start here. And this is where successful voyages end. Well, not our one, because we want immortality. So I don't know. I reckon it. So we've oh, got my you ambition. might be having a bit of delay. Okay. Yeah, let's check out the ambition. The Blind Hellsman is a Woolstack institution, a centuries-old pub held together by a crust of fry smoke and the nautical mementos nailed to the wall. When you enter, the salt-scarred navigator is already in full flow. Uh, you doing the, uh, the salt-scarred navigator's voice? Sure. A seti deep in the interior, neither. It's called... There they decide the span of every life. Nader's walls are basalt, but within them it's as close to paradise as a man can make. A thousand fountains, the streets paved with gem lamps, and the air sweet with honeysuckle and orange groves. How does he know? How has he been there? Well, we need to get a uh, wine. Oh, we need wine. Well, we might as well Let's just get buy some, uh, wine now. 
Let's just buy wine. Yeah. So, um, uh, Wolfstack. I I imagine Wolfstack Exchange will do it. We're losing twenty already, but who Ooh. cares? Got wine. We're happy. Damn, they raised the price. Jesus Christ. All right, what do we got? Uh, straight from the source, one bottle, and he loosens his waist, his, his waistcoat. A second, <laughs> and he loosens his tongue. Wait, we had two bottles. Shit. Apparently. <laughs> No, oh, I never been to NIDA. I just magically make bottles of wine duplicate. <laughs> Not in the flesh, at least. He leans close. But I once tasted red honey and the memories of a man who had. I only saw fragments, an army at the walls, a breach, a rallying cry. Liberty, equality, eternity, integrity. Where's integrity? I, don't know where I added that last one because I felt like it. Oh, right, okay then. Third bottle. We've got three bottles now. Wonderful. Crisp. And you and you said the wine was expensive. How could you? Mm -hmm. 21 for three bottles. <laughs> Where could you taste these memories for yourself? Go to the Isle of Cats. Talk to the cat's chiefest claw. Ask about the far-travelled notary. But you're, if you're wise, you'll do like me. Use what you learn to get free drinks. Immortalities for gods and monsters. Hmm. Well, I don't mind being a god. Or a monster. Interesting. Okay. Okay. Cool. Well, let's let's explore London. Isle of Cats, Pharaoh. Isle yeah. Let's cats. let's stick around London. Uh, is there anything in particular that you need, Admiral? Speak to our agent there and return. We'll see that you're rewarded. Gators. Mm. Uh, that could be a bit of a hop. Uh, from. It is more. Uh, yeah. Okay. Not somewhere. Not far. Not far from home waters. Okay. Well, the uh, the sea has been known to shift. <laughs> uh, I don't have any uh, appointments, so might as well uh, might as well get out of here. Uh, University is locked because I don't have a secret. Okay. You could carouse and wolf stack docks, but we don't have a free evening. Um, hire on more crew. We don't need to do. Um, offer passage for tomb colonists is probably a good idea. Yeah, might as well. No reason, no good reason not to. It's oddly it's difficult to die. To die. In, it's oddly difficult to die and fall in London. But when a Londoner is too tatty and rich to live up to live, they wrap themselves in bandages and take the ship for the tomb colonies. Your crew cart these on ones on aboard in padded coffins. They'll sleep there until the journey is done. The tomb colonist is in your hold. Take them north to the colony of Vindabite and sell them there. You, you're not the boss of me. I do what um, I want. Cool, I think we're done in uh, in London. Uh, uh, yeah, Venue is just tutorial. straight north. We won't go through uh, that. Sure, why not? We won't go through the advice for captains. I accidentally sold that book last time, but that was fine. <laughs> yeah, honestly, it's fine if you sell it. Um, wait, what's this about a passenger? Well, let's check out our lodgings first. Um, okay. Yes, we might as well check the Gazette, morning paper. Yeah. The Echo Bazaar. Juice. That enigmatic marketplace has increased its tax on love stories. The traitor empress has forbidden singing in the streets outside of her place. The anarchists of the calendar council have inexplicably dynamited a drinking fountain. The Ministry of Public Decency has located and destroyed a nest of gold lighter wasps. Wonderful! Nest of it's wasps funny destroyed. How much of that links into what you do in Fall on London, the browser game? Because like, uh -huh. in, when you play Sunless Sea, it's like, oh, this is cool flavor, and I'm like, Oh, I recognize all of those things and their role in the browser game. Crisp. <laughs> That's incredible. It's uh, really nicely linked together. Back to London? No, I don't want, I don't want London. I want uh, no. a passenger. Yes, we do. Someone in the uh, docks the wants Gators. to board your ship. Mm. Agree to carry the August travel rider to Gators Morn. Mm. Interesting. He's prepared to pay handsomely uh, for transport and is keen sure, to commission your ship specifically. Okay. We already have a, a mission from the Admiralty to go to Gators, yeah, so cool. sure. Uh, uh, the August Traveller writer shakes your hand, his grip distressingly strong. Thank you. It's Gators Morn I'm bound for first, he says. I hear they... Ah! He hurries over to you. He hurries over to your stoker, who is carrying his steamer trunk up in the gangplank. No need to trouble yourselves. Give it here. Remember, my lord, Gators Morn. I'll pay you 150 echoes when we arrive. That's wonderful. Crisp. 150. Well, let's piss off. What do you think? I think so. Head over to Vendor uh, Blight. Is there any 
anything else we can trade to vendor by? No, I don't think so. Let's go. I don't remember all the beginner's trade routes because I've only been a beginner like twice. <laughs> my first so far was a we'll few discover. hours. Yeah. And then my second one was like 47 and counting. <laughs> I think the best path to go is to go straight up north, follow the path up to Vendor Blight. Yep, just smash it out to Vendor Blight. So a bit of a tip, you trade fuel, you trade terror for fuel when you don't uh, use your fog lights. Yep. Should we go to Hunter's Keep? No, we'll come back to Hunter's Keep actually. Sure, let's do it. No, we'll come back to it, I think. So this is Low Barnet, I'm not sure you've seen this before. Low Barnet. Mm -hmm. um, I have, but you haven't. Oh, okay. So you've, you've done all it's, the undersea stuff before, have you? I have done most of it. I'm not sure I've seen everything. But yes, um, there is an under undersea place there. Dust echoes, even a sheepier tint to the air. These are the waters around the tomb colonies. One hundred percent stunners. Don't oh, we know where Vendibite is. Don't, don't, catch, me, don't off. catch me! Damn it! He caught me. That's all right. <laughs> Pirate steam pinnacles. Yeah, you can fuck them up. Oh wait, you don't have a gun, do you? <laughs> yeah, I've got the Maybe. front gun. I've got the basic oh. front gun. Okay, the one that does like two damage. Yeah, that would probably be a bit too much. Yeah, we we don't want to fight anything at the beginning except for those crabs. Yep. Jeez, I'm letting my terror run wild already. I'm already on three. Look at that. Oh, three! Holy shit! Yeah, suddenly Davos. Oh, what? There's a there's bats here. Oh, well, we'll kill yeah, them. But only approach my god now. Before we kill them, we're gonna go here. Uh, you've brought this decaying uh, immigrant north. Now what? Your passenger stands somberly by the rail. Salt sent me a dream. She insists. You must find my father. My father. Um, uh. If you, uh, if you insist, I guess. Uh. <laughs> Salt tells me that you find my father in the belly of a monstrous eel. Gods never lie. Ha! Gods never lie. I was once a priest. Mm. You're talking shit. It's just how okay. it is. Gods yeah. lie. But if she's yeah. right, she'll reward you. For her father's return. Open a monstrous eel. Shit. Okay. Crisp. Need to open a monstrous okay. eel. Tomb colony of Vendor, Vendor Blight. There's nothing we can do there. Here. On deck, you hear the sound of th that a thousand bandaged dead make as they shuffle and cough. Something like the world's most restless consoles. Or perhaps the world's most plague ridden cathedral. Shik um, shik. <coughs> well, let's explore Vendor Blight. Yeah, let's explore Vendy. Here they favor candlelight over gaslight. The shadows are swagged like cobwebs. The tomb columns stand still enough to be mistaken for sculpture until they laugh or cough. One building in three seems abandoned. Dissolution. The tomb colonist hobbles towards you. I will not. She hissed fiercely. I will not. Not for me, the sanatorium. Nor the emergence. I lived and I will die. You sound very similar to the last tomb columns we dropped on. I know. <laughs> she draws a sword from her sash. You jump back. Tomb colonists, fearless and long experienced, are famed for their dueling skills. I thought they were dead. Are they dead? Are they dying? They're dying. They're probably. like nearly dead. How, how, are they, how are they long experienced for their dueling skills? That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> she raises the sword, flourishes it, and beheads herself with a triumphant cry. Her head bounces across the ground towards you. Yeah. Hang. Yeah. Okay. When you gain terror and a lamentable relic. You picked up her head. Okay. Jesus Christ. Okay, whatever. Um, are we going to visit the first curator? Sure, why not? Z captains, the first curator gives audience. The first curator is responsible for the preservation of tomb colonies. It has been here much longer than London, like all the oldest tomb colonists. But even tomb colonists dissolve in the end. Its time is close. Shit. Uh, what voice am I going to use for this guy? 
No more light. The obsequious stu steward cautions you. The curator is terribly afraid of moths. He opens the door. As you step into near darkness, a pair of luminous lamplighter bees buzz in a latticed ivory tube. There is no other source of light. A bandage shape no larger than a child lies crumpled on the couch. It lifts its head with obvious effort. It takes several seconds for you to distinguish its voice from the soft buzz of the bees. Whispered request. Z Captain. Silkskin. Not much left of me. I will go to the Grand Sanatorium. Bring me colors. Seven colors. Pay well. Seven colors? Cosmogon, Irigo, Pelican, Steward has list. Find them here and there across the wide black sea. Okay, well, that yeah, was kind of creepy. It, it means that when it'll pay well, but it'll be a long time before we finish that quest. Well, that was still kind of creepy. Yeah, uh, as uh, in, I pretty much just finished it. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. Still, uh, it's, uh, the rewards are good. Uh, I don't want to... I'm like, not interested. Yeah, fair. Uh, accept the commission? Yeah, yes, yeah, yeah, yes, yes, of course. Do it! It collapses, right. rustling back on the couch. Even the effort of speaking seems to have diminished, diminished it a little. The audience is over. As the door opens, it shrinks from the finger of light that reaches across the floor. Outside, the obsequious steward nods. The book. Yes, the book. He hands you a slim illustrated volume. The curator is old, old as dust. We will all be grateful if you do it. If you this one last favor. Ah, wonderful. The Neath Bow. I assume that's supposed to be the rainbow, but the Neath Bow. <coughs> uh, sure. Yeah, so a Poseidon, Cosmogon, Gant, Irigo, Pelican, Violent, and Viric. That's, that's going to be a task, I'll tell you what. But we'll get there. None of those colors make sense to me. Yeah, that's probably the idea. Cool. Gather gossip. Gather gossip. Uh, this is just to get a port report. Sometimes port yep. reports are actually like tasks. Most of the time, you're just going to get a port report and then piss off. Basically. So we're not going to read out the port report text every time. <laughs> So we got the port report, now we're going to piss off. GG. Um, the um, bats have check gone. out the shops. Check out the shops? Oh, wrong yeah. button. Uh, wine sells for two extra echoes. Okay, that so could be a... a thing, possibly. Fuel is insanely expensive, supplies are kind of expensive. Yeah. Uh, Hollow Temple. Yeah, there's not many places news. you want to buy news or, I mean, um, fuel or supplies from. Yeah, you can sell recent news. I don't want to sell recent news, I want to use recent news. Well, where would you use it other than here? <laughs> Wherever I stop where I'm going now. I've got eight fuel and four supplies, dude. Okay. I could go to Hunter's Keep. Why wouldn't I use the recent news at Hunter's Keep? Fair call. Wouldn't that actually be more profitable? <laughs> yeah, I forgot about Hunter's Keep. I thought we were just going to go straight home. Uh, tomb colonist, I can sell the tomb colonist. Okay, oh, why would we go straight home? We've got eight fuel and four supplies. I'm gonna go more north, dude. <laughs> okay. Come on, Might as well scout out the coast. I was totally watching a Don't Starve Together stream today. Because apparently they've updated like a bunch of shit in that game, which is pretty cool. But, um, of course, I was seeing said streamer like map all the, um, the way around the outside of the map. Yeah. Just like walking along the borders, and I'm like, oh yeah, you do that in that game if you're good. I should remember that. <laughs> it's been a while. <laughs> uh, get rid of the terror, I reckon. Yeah, I go for it. Them. Well, I don't know, what do you So, I've, I've decided that um, for your first life, I'm going to do very little hand-holding and let you make all the decisions, pretty much. So. Yeah, but I mean, this isn't hand-holding, this is like... I mean, either or really doesn't make a difference. So, like, yeah, after you die the first time, I will give away what I would do in these situations. But for now, it's up to you. Unless it's like, I don't know, I would basically want to kill myself if you made the wrong correction. Like, decision. <laughs> we suffered five damage, which we don't care about. 
นะโอ้ว่าอะไรเพิ่งซิงแบบปะ Because I'm an idiot Not sure I want to go much further north than this. I definitely. Yeah, it's probably not an incredible north. idea. Boreal Reach, yeah. Let's let's get away from the lifeberg. <laughs> I mean, hey, logic. You should totally attack the lifeberg. Nothing could possibly go wrong. <laughs> you can't. You can't. Really, nothing. Gross. Starting to run out of supplies. Like, this is getting shitty. You're fine for supplies. Nah, I'm running out, dude. I just said I was running out. Why are you listening to me? <laughs> okay then. <laughs> he never listens I'll just to fucking me. Fucking eat the bats next time then. Oh, damn. <laughs> fucking get mad. <laughs> <coughs> Drift out to sea and die. Go on. Well, maybe I will. Maybe that's what I want to do. Okay. Really? Really? What? 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 What is this? I haven't really explored out that far, to be honest. No, but like in comparison with my first run run through, it was ridiculous. Let's kill this bloody crab, and then we can feed our crew. All right. An auroral megalops. Or AKA the crab. Crisp. Didn't uh, get hit. This is bad. This is this is really bad. Oh, pirate frigate. Yeah, uh, let's cut and run. <laughs> He's gonna take the crab though. Oh, mate. Is that gonna make you a bit crabby? <laughs> it is actually. Okay, okay, back to Hunter's Keep, I guess. Back to Hunter's Keep. I'll head more towards the uh, the right side. I'll head more towards the west still. But I'm kind of upset that we haven't really found much. Yet. I mean, I'm sure we haven't explored that much, but I'm still kind of upset. We've barely gone anywhere, dude. As I said, in comparison with my first run through, my first run through was insane. I told you about it, didn't I? Well, we sort of looped out radially, not very much from Vendabite, so nothing's going to be there. Uh, looking at the map, it's like everything's going to be just beyond where we went. Yeah, it does look like it, doesn't it? Yeah. Maybe we get something good here. No, shit happens. Yeah, we can go to Cunters. Nothing. All open sea. Wow. I don't think I've actually ever seen this much open sea before in my life. <laughs> I see what you do there. Bad puns. Really? Okay then, we'll head towards the landmass. Mm -hmm. You're being watched. Ooh. The snares. Interesting. A quiet aisle. A grand old house. A hump of rock, dark, swathed in... Swathed? Swathed? Swathed. Swathed in mist. Like a hundred other under the islands. But here's a grand house. Windows aglow, lawns, possibly green and lush in the false starlight. Raked gravel paths. You stand on the docks as the, un as the sea nudges the ship's side. An unexpectedly warm breeze carries the faintest trace of lavender. Um. Well, we might as well say hi to the sisters. Sure. A maid with a smoldering with smoldering topaz eyes shows you into the parlor where three young women wait. A visitor. The youngest cries. Next youngest chuckles. The eldest sighs. Do excuse the indecorum, she says. 
Visitors are rare. You are very welcome. I am Cynthia. The noisy one is Phoebe. Phoebe. The cheerful one is Lucy. You are in good time for lunch. Will you join us? Absolutely will I join you. Yeah, lunch, Let's please. Fucking go. You just meet someone and you invite them for lunch? <laughs> this game is clearly based off real life females. <laughs> yep. Maybe we're just handsome as fuck. I mean, look at that. Look at that moustache. Look at that moustache. Who would not invite that moustache to lunch as soon as you see it? Uh, let's talk to the eldest. Why not? Ugly, ugly. She seems to be the one that introduced us and, and why not. Cynthia is the eldest. Melancholy, pensive, occasionally dramatic. Cynthia grasps your arm and whispers to you. Her eyes are wide and blue. Her hair is wild and tangled. Bats might nest in it. It seems to you that you're sitting on a hillside above a wide blue lake, listening to a story of a murder, an axe, a net, blood on scented water. Another chop, Cynthia asks. You've barely touched your food. Here, I'll have the maid wrap something up for you. You can't be hungry. It's not safe to be hungry. Yeah. One terror. A little bit a ominous. A tale of terror. This is worth a lot like a lot, a lot, or nothing, depending on how much of a nub you are. Pretty much. I, last game, had this worth a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm probably gonna fuck it up this game. Okay. Uh, so we got supplies got acquainted, and Salt is paying attention to us. Curious. That's fine. Salt's allowed to pay attention to us. Uh, Salt. News. He we have news! You ask the sulfur-eyed maid to carry a few hints of your news to the sisters. Oddly enough, she comes back with a message that the headaches are cured. You're invited to lunch. <laughs> uh, lunch on with the... Wait, soft voice? Uh, well, it ain't soft voice anymore. Nope. <laughs> Phoebe has a story to tell of two lovers parted by water of a raven that carried messages of a fragment of the moon. She beats time on the table as she speaks, as if to a, as if to a song only she could hear. The effect is hypnotic. Your attention drifts out through the skylight of the dining room to the false stars glittering in the roof of the cavern. You drift like a puffball spore. The undersea shimmer, shimmers below. Islands lie like mineral specimens. Where, where was I reading? Islands lie like mineral specimens on black velvet. Ships bob like wood chips between the islands. Vast spined things pulse in the depths. There is a scent like the scent before a storm. The storm came! Phoebe said quietly. Everything's changed! That's her being quiet, by the way. Somewhere in there. You finish the last course. Let me play your skin flute. <laughs> the scowling maid <laughs> reluctantly serves cheese and <laughs> bath Oliver biscuits. <laughs> Memory of distant shores. <laughs> We've That's got one supplies. Rooney view. It's... God damn. We've got supplies. We've lost Terra. Wonderful. Supplies. And no shops. Storm is paying attention to us. No shops. Well, we gained a, a port yeah, report. Sure. What are we going to do now? Crisp. You've gone really quiet, uh, by the way. Fuck Skiowski. Have I? Oh. Yes, no, there we go. You're back. Got a port Crisp. report. That means we're going to fuck off. Um, back to London, get fuel, go south. How do you feel about that? Sounds good. Let's go to Lawl and Condon. Back to London, take a break, get fuel, and then go back out. How do we feel about that? Seems good. Seems good. What's our terror at? Five. Kind of unhappy. Five is nothing. Quite. Five is nothing, dude. It is nothing, but I'm still unhappy that we got five. Okay. Especially seeing as I could have used... Well, for how long have you sailed with your lights off? <laughs> well, that's the thing. I could have used more fuel, which is why I'm annoyed at five terror. Does that kind of make sense? No, but okay. <laughs> It was bad management, that's what I'm saying. Bad this music is the music of utter relief. Until you start smuggling. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, so we have the typical stuff, and we have a little gift. Uh, 
I, I got the blind bruiser. I, I have a voice I usually do for the blind bruiser. Oh, well, okay, cool. let me let me know what you think. Do it, do it. A very fine evening to you, Captain. My, what you might call mentor, is very fond of adventurous sea captains, and he would like to offer you what you might call a dispensation on account of he is so fond of sea captains. Behind the blind bruiser on the dock stands a tray piled high with fuel and supplies. Uh, why don't we inquire further? Seems too good to be true. What do you think? Yeah, let's ask him. Who is this patron? Is there a catch? Oh, no catch. He runs a very fine and very liberal establishment hey, just liberal. across the river of what is much patronized by sailors and men of wit and vinegar. And a public house. My grammar not so good. And there is no obligation to speak of. <coughs> Excuse me. My patron would hope only that you might remember him kindly. And I suppose that if the opportunity should arise for you to return his kindness, then I do not imagine he would refuse your offer. Well, that sounds incredibly, incredibly reasonable. <laughs> I know, doesn't it? Cool. Not shifty okay. at all. Cool, except. Wonderful. Yeah, let's go. Do make sure you have 15 points of space in the hold, or come back later. It would be embarrassing to have to leave it on the dock. Yes, I completely agree. Well, my patron hopes that you find these little gifts to your liking, and he expects that perhaps one day you might choose to call on him at the Medusa's head. Should that day come, we'll make you very welcome and give you any safe conduct what you might require. A good evening to you. He salutes. And is gone. But we've got ten fuel, five supplies. Uh, we have a little bit suspicious. I hate to tell you what, I'm a bit suspicious of myself. Just saying. Mm -hmm. Um, cool. Well, yeah. What's the catch? You've been no seen catch. associating with the blind bruiser, so yes, suspicion. <laughs> What's the catch? No catch? Wonderful. London! London! Mm. Admiral! We have port reports. Please. Uh, what was the voice that I used for the Admiral? Um, uh, big serious guy. I trust the sisters are keeping well. The citizens of her enduring majesty, notionally. They are indeed keeping very, very well. Crisp. What have you? What have the nearly dead been up to then? Not much. I've got this head. I don't know what to do with it. Uh, that's done. Uh, nice. Oh, we've got a university, of course, because we've got a secret. Nice. Let's let's visit the university. The university has an inexhaustible appetite for secrets, Z specimens, and other tidbits of ex of esoteric lore. Provide a secret to prove yourself worthy of entry. Oh, yeah. Find secrets by locating locations of interest or in foreign ports. Oh, yes. The university's maritime liaison whispers breathily. Oh, yes. This is quite a tasty one. Let me explain it to you. She, he, explains. Teeth glinting. Cool. <laughs> you are now Favors Antiquarian. <laughs> uh, well, we might want to fix that one fail better <laughs> but we are now Favors Antiquarian <laughs> <laughs> we now have Favors Antiquarian yeah <laughs> no we are don't you get it <laughs> of course the alarming scholar is mercurial to say the least a creature of sudden moods and provoking teeth even though the teeth don't seem to be provoking me at all from that picture and possibly her is it her appointment at, as university maritime liaison was precautionary to keep his, is it his, a razor sharp enthusiasm from causing too many injuries in the faculty. Oh, yes! The scholar whispers breathily. Oh, <clears throat> oh yes! The scholar whispers breathily. I have a budget for acquisitions. What have you brought me? You can sell the scholar your shit. Shit. Um, I do have a memory of a distant shore, but I don't kind of want to give it to you. I do have a lamentable relic, but I'm not sure I want to give it to you either. Um, and searing enigmas and dread surmises you won't have for a while. <laughs> True. 
Uh, what about an extraordinary implication? Um, you're not going to have one of those. I found two of them in my first run. As in yet? No, but it was still incredible. Like, okay. That's how good that run was. Anyway, I'm wondering if I should give him a memory of distant shores because they're reasonably common. Oh, do what you want. Done. Wells of emotion. As the alarming scholar listens, tears well in the depths of those shining, blazing eyes. They overflow, splashing onto the deck blotter. Stop! He, she, sobs. At last, this is too, too beautiful. Allow me to bring them a core of memories I wish each individual tone recalled. Yeah. Cool, we've got 64 echoes. Nice. Um, Are you going to chuck him the relic? Guess not. Uh, I roll more crew. Uh, nope. You recruit. Uh, I think we're going to take a break. How do we feel about that? Come back in 10 minutes. Alrighty. Seems good. Uh, and then what should we do about this pesky advice for captains? Well, we could sell it. Yeah, I honestly would sell it. <laughs> Yep, okay. You can be all the advice I need. Mm -hmm. We'll be back in about 10 minutes, guys. See you then. Um, I don't have a splash screen, so I'm just going to cull the stream. <laughs>